Dave began here with another question in topic 12.1. We're looking at the Bohr model of the atom and the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. In question part one, we're told that a postulate of the Bohr model of hydrogen is that the electron revolves around the proton in stable circular orbits. I want to state two other postulates of the Bohr model. Well, one of them is that electrons emit photons with energy Planck's constant times their frequency when moving down shells. So whenever an electron goes from a higher shell to a lower shell, it emits a photon, and that photon has an energy given by Planck's constant times its frequency. Another postulate is that in an atom, an electron's energy and angular momentum Are quantized. So you can't have continuous amounts of energy, you can't have continuous amounts of angular momentum. The electron has only discrete amounts available, and that's why it's stuck to those shells. It can't be at a half shell. In the next part, we're told that the nth energy state of the hydrogen atom has energy Em. It orbits with speed Vn with radius Rn. And we can calculate each of these three quantities with these three equations based on the shell number, the orbit number. We're first asked to apply the expressions above to determine the ground energy, radius, and speed of the electron. So that's when n is 1 when we're on the first shell, the ground shell. And you'll notice in each of these equations, if n is 1, it has no effect. Dividing by 1 has no, 1 squared has no effect. Multiplying by 1 squared has no effect. Dividing by 1 has no effect. Which means that the energy in the first shell is just negative 13.606 eV. The radius in the first shell is 0. 0, 0.0529 nanometers, and the velocity in the first shell is 2.19 times 10 to the sixth meters per second. In part C, it says according to the Schrodinger model, the position and speed of an electron are not well defined. It can be assumed that the uncertainty of the position of the electron in a hydrogen atom is equal to the radius of the electron orbit in the state n equals 1. Apply the Heisenberg uncertainty principle to the hydrogen in the state to show that the uncertainty of the speed is approximately equal to that of the electron speed calculated above. Right, so basically what we're saying here is if we take the orbit of the electron around the hydrogen nucleus, we can treat the radius of the orbit as a certain uncertainty in position. So the uncertainty can so the position can stretch all the way out to one side, but as the electron goes around the circle, the position changes from all the way to one side, to the center, to all the way to the other side. And we're saying that this should be linked to the uncertainty in the speed. And the link is through the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, where the uncertainty in position times the uncertainty in momentum has to be at least as much as h on 4 pi. Now momentum is mv, mass times velocity, so that's how we get the velocity in there. We can then say that the uncertainty in position, which is the radius, times the mass and the uncertainty in the velocity have to be greater than h on 4 pi. Solving this for the uncertainty and velocity, we get h 
on 4 pi r m. That's 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34, Planck's constant, on 4 pi. The radius was 0 0.5 something something, 29. 0 0.0529 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. And the mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. Right, you punch all of that into your calculator and you get 1.09 times 10 to the 6th meters per second, which is less than half of what we were expecting to get, but it's on the same order of magnitude. And you'll notice with the inequality, which I uh, ignored, with the inequality, the uncertainty in velocity only has to be at least, this has to, be, has to be greater than this. So an uncertainty in velocity of 2.2 .2 times 10 to the sixth is a lot. And it's similar to this minimum that we calculate. Moving on to part three, explain why the result in part one above suggests that the idea of electrons in orbits, as used by the Bohr model, is a poor understanding of how electrons behave. The issue here is that well-defined electron orbits are inappropriate. Because there's a significant uncertainty to the position and speed of electrons. that can't be made more precise. The uncertainty in the position and speed of the electrons is a fundamental property of the electron. It's not a limitation of our ability to measure the electron. The electron itself cannot be defined that precisely. And that's why it's inappropriate to think of it as a little steel ball orbiting a proton in the same way that the moon orbits the Earth.